out. You have ten minutes before we charge you for another day. Oh, okay, okay. What kind of monsters have a checkout at nine? What happened last night? Oh, my head. Pills plus drinking. That was not my best idea. Did I black out or what? Ugh. Oh. I can't. I can't think straight. I need some water on my face. Clear it up. Oh, my head. How many of these did I take? God, what a headache. I feel like a small jackhammer in my left temple. Late for checkout. They can wait a bit more. At least it won't take me long to get my things. <sighs> Already feel more human. Now, where did I put my shirt? I was at least hoping I'd look better than I feel. Please let there be water. No water, of course. If my jacket's here, my shirt can't be far. the right door. You need to steady yourself.
doing good. Really good. You're almost there. Focus. Choose. Act. Deliberately. Hide. Hide. It's never happened. Going on. If I run, I'll keep running. I need to face what happened. Answers. Get far away. Don't run. Just go. As fast as I can. Hide. It's never happened. No, that's just pretending nothing is wrong. I've done that enough. Yes, answers. Good or bad. I need answers. I know what you're thinking. Stop thinking that. Pills and alcohol? You're lucky enough you didn't wake up dead. I need to know what happened last night. The last place I remember is the bar, so I'll start there. The squeaky nail gets hammered down. Maybe don't play lone wolf detective. I'm gonna take it slow and be cautious, don't worry. Yeah, telling people not to worry always works. I can't just run from whatever this is. So either help me or get out of my head. It's your life, Sam. I just live here. things change, the more they stay the same. Do you really think breaking and entering is a good idea? Used Ethan's hidden spare key, no breaking involved. I don't know if he'll see it that way. I could wait for the bar to open, or I could look for answers. I picked the latter. I remember seeing this before, a long time ago. Whoa, what happened here last night? First, look around, figure out what happened. I ended up drinking alone, so who brought that second glass?
I do this? Sorry, Nick. They might have fallen off the table. Seems some people got rowdy last night. Ripped. Did this happen yesterday, or was it always like that? These were sent scattering. Someone thrown into them? It might have fallen off the table. Seems some people got rowdy last night. What knocked this clock off the pillar? It seems there was a fight. It could explain the blood on my shirt. Does it mean that I was involved? I won't be able to find out without more evidence. Joel's hat. Maybe we ended up having it out after all. Looks like they were knocked over, then stepped on. DG. Dennis's initials. Was he involved in whatever happened? Wouldn't surprise me. The pot was completely shattered. Looked like it might have been kicked. Could be the same blood that was on my shirt. They might have fallen off the table. Seems some people got rowdy last night.
Definitely not the wake Nick would have wished for. What a mess. Hope this wasn't me. Hugh's business card. Wonder why it's here. I think I've seen enough to put together the pieces of what happened last night. Just gotta think it through. At least I can always count on this place to make sense. Now to work out what happened while I was blacked out last night. I just need to think it through logically, throw out impossibilities. Until only the truth is left. I know I got into a fight, but it could have played out in many different ways. I have to think it through, find out what really happened. My memory ends here, but there's two glasses. Who was here with me? I was drinking on my own, and someone approached me. I can't remember who it was, but I know we got into a fight. Obviously. If I figure out how the fight went, I should figure out who my assailant was. Something hit the pillar with enough force to make the clock fall. A person thrown into the pillar would do it. Broken glass, damaged seat. It's possible the fight made its way over here. Something hit the pillar with enough force to make the clock fall. A person thrown into the pillar would do it. It looks like not even the memorial board was spared by the brawl. That could be it but I still have to figure out who was sitting next to me. Joel's cap. Maybe he provoked me again after I'd had a few?
This doesn't fit with the thing I found. The pharmacist's business card. Hope I didn't start picking on the elderly. One hell of a mess. This could definitely be the result of two people fighting. If the fight had ended here, the bar wouldn't be such a mess. If the fight had ended here, the bar wouldn't be such a mess. That's Dennis's. I definitely wanted to shut him up last night. Broken glass, damaged seat. It's possible the fight made its way over here. Something hit the pillar with enough force to make the clock fall. A person thrown into the pillar would do it. The jukebox is not in the same place. Maybe it was involved in the fight somehow. It looks like not even the memorial board was spared by the brawl. One hell of a mess. This could definitely be the... If the fight had ended here, the bar wouldn't be such a mess. Pharmacist's business card. Hope I didn't start picking on the elderly. The jukebox is not in the same place. Maybe it was involved in the fight somehow. If the fight had ended here, the bar wouldn't be such a mess. Broken glass, damaged seat. 
It's possible the fight made its way over here. Joel's cap. Maybe he provoked me again after I'd had a few? Something hit the pillar with enough force to make the clock fall. A person thrown into the pillar would do it. The pharmacist's business card. Hope I didn't start picking on the elderly. One hell of a mess. This could definitely be the result of two people fighting. That's Dennis's. I definitely wanted to shut him up last night. Broken glass, damaged seat. It's possible the fight made its way over here. Something hit the pillar with enough force to make the clock fall. A person thrown into the pillar would do it. it looks like not even the memorial board was spared by the brawl. I have the complete picture now. You know, the man who talks to himself has an idiot for an Fuck audience. Fuck off, Dennis. <laughs> I see why you have so many friends left in town. Yeah, you would know about that. At least my best friend never slept with my ex. you blame more, huh? The backstabbing asshole or the bitch who... You don't talk about Anna or Nick that way. You think you know who Nick was? Mr. Perfect? Give me a break. You have no idea. No one in this town does. What are you talking about? I'll show you. But not here. Sam. Meet me later at Sam. the- Ethan is coming back in through the front. At least I think it's him. You think it's him? I can't actually tell if you can't tell. What I know for sure is, if it's Ethan, he may not be happy to find you here. So I strongly suggest you leave. And if you don't, well, tell him you're here to apologize about last night. You trashed up his bar and then broke in. Time to leave if you're leaving. You'll want to apologize. Trust me. God damn. Sam? You're not here to rob me, right? Ethan, I, uh... No, I'm not here to rob you. Oh, good. I don't want to break your legs. I'm here to apologize about last night. Ah, uh, I thought that might be the case. Don't sweat it. This place gets busted up once a month. Sounds rough. I guess. It's, it is what it is. Buy a bar, you gotta run a bar, you know? I'll take cleaning up your dumbass mess over dealing with family any day. Ethan, did anything weird happen last night? Well, you and Dennis beat the crap out of each other, and then you left. And now I gotta clean it up. Don't worry about it. Uh, too much. No one's on their best behavior after losing a loved one. I know I'm not. 
At least my sister isn't dead. She's just ruining her life. She wants to be called Kayla now. Ruining her life? Yeah, living in some commune. Dropped out of school. Life of a heathen. We all make mistakes. Yeah, and I feel like she makes most of them. Sam, I got a lot of your mess to clean up, so if you could, you know, leave. I got places to be anyways. See you around, Ethan. I come back on the town's Miner's Day celebration. Well, you always did have great timing. No time to dwell on that. Focus. You tried Dennis's cell phone. No answer. So what now? There's that coffee date with Anna. Anna might have to wait. I want to see if anyone has seen Dennis first. I don't know. I'll play it by ear. Just remember she's expecting you. She's extending the olive branch. Don't drop it. I still have time before meeting Anna. Might as well ask if anyone saw Dennis. Maybe Kathy will know something. Or that new pharmacist. Yo, get out the way! Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. Asshole. That's enough! <laughs> Kathy and Hugh were both at the wake. I should talk to them. He looks like those doctors you see on commercials. Ah, oh, Samuel. Sorry about Richard. He's always a little on edge. I'm surprised to see you up and about after the night you had. Honestly. <laughs> I was afraid you'd end up like your friend. You were quite inebriated. Honestly, I don't remember last night. You saw me blackout drunk. Not my finest hour. I would say not. After your barroom brawl, I did my best to prevent you from following that other man outside. And I tried to get you to hand over your keys. But you would have none of it. Sorry about that. The man I had a fight with, Dennis. Have you seen him today? Seen him? No. No, can't say I have. Thanks anyways. That article you wrote, it's done this town a lot of good. <laughs> How do you figure? The mine was a band-aid on a torn artery. Sometimes, doing what is unpopular is still the moral choice. You probably believe that. I'd offer you something for that hangover. But I find in some cases, time is the best medicine. My mom used to say that all the time. Now she only says it a lot. 
Sounds like a wise woman. Listen to her advice. Now you have a good one, young man. Was there anything else you needed, by the way? I have to ask, why move here, of all places? You know, here, Basswood. A blink and you miss this town. People move out of Basswood, not in. The town I used to work in had a hundred other pharmacies in it. Oh, you'd make sales. But you don't get to know anyone, ever. Plus, if I'm being honest, I always imagined I'd retire in a small mountain town. Samuel, I saw you talking to Walter. Can you ask him something from me? Sure thing. What is it? I knew I could count on you. I was hoping the Basswood Jungle could run a piece about me. You see, some of the older folks see me as an outsider still. Can't say I'm surprised. I'll try and remember to ask next time I talk to him. I really appreciated the chat, but I'm afraid it's time I get back to work. Do come see me again. Sam, you here to pick up something for your, uh, condition? I have a condition? Yeah, the one that makes you the way you're always so... you. It's all right, of course. I won't tell anyone. I think I might actually have leaky gut. It's where your intestine starts to dissolve and your half-digested food starts to leak out into your blood. I'm trying to find something for it, and if it... Why not ask the pharmacist? And let him know I might have something like that? <laughs> Ew, he's basically a stranger. Look, have you seen Dennis? I saw him yesterday. We exchanged pleasantries. At the wake? Oh, I saw you too. Given his condition yesterday, he might have come in here. You walloped him. Why not ask the pharmacist? I'll just check the internet when I get home. It'll tell me what to get. It was nice talking to you, Tara. Mm, was it? Still here after all these years. She followed Nick to Basswood, but never liked it. Hey, Kathy. No, oh, Sam. What can I do you for? Dennis hasn't come in today, has he? Dennis? I haven't seen him since last night. Why? You looking for trouble? Last night we got into a fight. Like a fist fight. Really? I'm oh, sorry, I missed that. You could both use the thumping. But I left early to go check on Joan. Did you have to say that fantasy about her father being murdered was real? That's not what I... I just want her to be a little girl. Not a little Sam Higgs. Sneaking around and getting into trouble. And now all she can talk about is how you're gonna prove that she's right. Sorry. I know it's not your fault, but... I just don't... I don't... I don't know what to do with her. She's my daughter, and I feel like I'm losing her. I gotta go. If the boss sees me John instead of working, I'll get an earful. No one in here was much help. <laughs> 